This video will show you how to access the Olympia School District subscription databases for quality research sources. The best way to access our research databases is through the My OSD portal. You can get to the portal by accessing any of our school websites. There's an OSD portal link on the top right. Or if you're using your district given Chromebook or other computer, there is a folder along the bookmarks bar that has the OSD portal at the top. Once you are in the portal, um, you will look for the research information in the middle section. So there is the heading research and everything below can help support any of your research projects. The top one, Destiny Library Catalog, will allow you to search the high school catalog for books. It will also um, allow you to look at other school libraries if you want to. The ProQuest databases um, include a suite of resources for research. World Book Online is an encyclopedia, a digitized encyclopedia with lots of good background information. And then this bottom one um, gives you your public library login information. So for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and open up the ProQuest database. The reason it is a good idea to go through the OSD portal in order to access these databases is because you do not need a password to get in. The portal directly funnels you into the database without needing a password. If you access ProQuest without going through the portal first, you can still get into it by using Olympia SD for both the username and the password. So when we're looking at this suite of resources here, the top one is ProQuest, which is the most scholarly and academic of all of them. Um, most post high school institutions will also have ProQuest within their database suites. SIRS Discoverer is more of an elementary based research center, so I would say you can probably skip that. eLibrary is uh, catered to the general public a little bit more, more information from popular magazines and newspapers. Culturegrams directly links you to geographical information, um, different places around the world. And then both the ProQuest Learning Literature and the History Study Center are specific to literature and then history. So if you click on the top one, ProQuest, it will open up their homepage for searching. One of the most important things for you to do initially is to always click this full text box here before entering any of your search terms. Another thing to consider is clicking on the advanced search to narrow down what it is you're looking for. So if I am interested in um, climate change, I can simply type in climate change and maybe I want some specific information in regard to um, animals. So climate change and animals. And again, make sure you click on your full text. Here under the publication date, you could choose a date range for you to search. If it, that doesn't matter, um, you can just leave it all dates. And as you scroll down, you can specify more specifically whether you want a certain source type, document type, or even a language that the result is returned in. So let's just say for this, I'm most interested in um, a magazine and I'm going to click search. From this point, you'll notice the highlighted areas. Those have directly relate to the search terms that I plugged in. So we've got um, a few different magazines and as we scroll down you can look at the different icons that change here. Say I've decided I want um, to narrow it further. So I'm going to click on the last 12 months so everything returned now uh, has been written or published within the last 12 months. 
Um, and again, let's just say for the sake of example that I think this article here, take it from the animals, those who suffer most from climate change. So I'm going to click on this one. And I can read through the abstract, which gives me a brief summary for what the article is about. And as I scroll through, let's say, yeah, this actually looks like I can use it for my research. There are a few tools up toward the top right that are helpful. At this point, you could save this article as a PDF. You could click on the all options here and even save it directly into your Google Drive so you don't have to repeat the search at all. Um, probably the most important feature within a database is the citation generator. So when you click on the ProQuest citation generator, you have a menu of options for the style of citation. For most classes at Olympia High School, teachers are going to ask you to use the MLA 8th edition. So you will click here, and at this point you could copy and paste it into a Google Doc for later use. I'd also like to take a minute to show you how the ProQuest Learning Literature database works. So we're back at the Sweet homepage, and I'm going to click there. And let's say um, I know that I've been studying The Great Gatsby, and I need to write a paper in regard to that. So I'm going to come up here and just type in The Great Gatsby and see what happens. We see that there is an article giving us um, some biographical information about F. Scott Fitzgerald, the author. There are reference essays and articles, but I think one of the more valued pieces is this criticism component. So if you are tasked with having to write a paper um, analyzing The Great Gatsby, some of these are other people's or writers' um, viewpoints in regard to the novel itself as well. So flipping through these entries might give you some ideas for what to write about for yourself or be able to support any research paper that you're doing. Let's say that you are doing a specific author study. So you can click directly on authors and maybe for this one um, I want to know a little bit more about Sherman Alexie. So they do have information in regard to Sherman Alexie. So we could click on his biography. We could search for um, criticism in regard to his works. Um, any other reference book articles on this author? So as you click there, different things will come up. Let's say that you are interested in um, romanticism. So just depending on how narrow or broad your search is, let's say you wanted to do a study within that genre or that field, then this is a great place to go to get some ideas for what authors might be included in that time period or study. Um, let's go back to that main result page and see that there are additionally references and criticism and even some literary works that might be helpful. So um, if you need to find a poem, I think you might even be able to do that. You click on this literary works. I wonder what this snowflakes is. Let's see. This is going to give us a poem here. So even if you are tasked with finding text for a research project. Don't forget that you can come here, type in what it is you're looking for. Let's see if sports literature is even an option. Looks like it is. So we might be able to find reference materials and then literary works and essays based on that too. So if your research project is specifically related to literature, 
this is a great place to go and to get some ideas for your project.